The story of this Browns-Rams game was written on the playing field, where Cleveland quarterback Paul McDonald autographed the word interception all over this first quarter pass. Leroy Irvin's 81-yard touchdown run with McDonald's errant toss gave the Rams an early 7-0 lead. From the 27-yard line on third down. by Kermit Alexander. Kermit ain't got nothing but stripes in front of him. No way they're gonna get him. No flags on this one either. And don't throw it before you get to the goal line, a la Dave Smith. That pass was intended for Jerry Smith, who was tripped up as he came off the line of scrimmage. It could have been a well-thrown ball, but Jerry Smith stumbled and fell. Kermit Alexander has gone 82 yards for the round. Packers recovered a fumble. They were driving again. Dickey wanted to hit his man in the end zone. Instead, the rookie from Texas intercepted and was on his way. A 99-yard touchdown run. Here's the man that sparked all the controversy. Million-dollar contract out there on the West Coast. Worth it in that sequence right there. Rookie Johnny Johnson raced 99 yards, the longest return of an interception in Rams history. Then shortly thereafter, veteran Rod Perry duplicated the feat, this time from merely 83 yards away. And Dickey again. This time it'll be Rod Perry who will burn him, and this will be the 83-yard return for still another Ram touchdown. And they come just a point shy of the NFL record of 45 points set by the Packers for the most points in one half. As it is, they lead 44-7. Big plays from offense, and now it's the defense's turn. Look at defensive end, Grant Wistrom, the number one pick of the year, go outrun Chris Calloway. Had a, had a, had a oh. slow 91 yard touchdown for Wistrom. Yeah, you take another look at this. Great hands by Grant Wistrom. He was a, an outstanding athlete coming out of Nebraska. You see him make the nice play here off the deflection, gonna get the ball. Heads up field, and amazing that Callaway cannot catch him. And then watch Mike Jones, number 52, come in and clean Callaway out of the way anyway. With the score 34 to 10 for Dick Vermeil. Second down on the Rams, 16. Throws, but watch this, Anthony Parker. Anthony Parker, Anthony Parker. His second touchdown in two weeks. The seventh touchdown of his seven-year career. 93 yards, Rams up 7-zip. Very next play, Detmer up top, but Dre by. Dre Bly, play a hate. Tar Heel, you know, at UNC, Bly was the first collegiate since Herschel Walker about two decades before to be first team All-American three straight years. Booyah! Three yards to the house. You like that Tar Heel <laughs> stuff. Oh, boy. You were very happy if you had them on your schedule. Los Angeles had Dallas on their schedule, and the Rams' Herb Rich, number 42, turned in the longest scoring play of the year with a 98-yard return of an intercepted pass. While the Texans seem to have no appetite for victory, they were gluttons for punishment. Now it's fourth and three, under a minute to play here in the third quarter. Yates, it's intercepted! Going the other way is Alec Ogletree. I think he's going to score. Touchdown Rams! 98 yards for the rookie linebacker from Georgia. Well, they doubled him, and, and that... Uh, that right there is a predictable tendency. Philip Rivers taking on the Rams said, I feel as good as I can at this point in the season. He's Phillip got those bad complain. ribs. He does not complain. He just gets it done. Looking for Keenan Allen, but look who steps in front. Janoris Jenkins 21, who wears what? 21 reasons. The only thing that I don't like about this, he's holding that ball too firm. Put that thing in one <laughs> hand. Man, let the band fire up. Five pick sixes in his first three years ties Kenny Houston for the most in NFL history. That's a lot. 